Check this story out here. It, it doesn't quite replace traditional medicine, but some people find that chiropractic care can actually have a huge benefit not only for humans, but for animals too. And photojournalist Virginia Palmer takes us inside the world of animal chiropractory <laughs> and how it differs from the human kind. Yeah, she's actually not bad. My name is Dr. Sarah German. I am a human chiropractor with additional certification in animal chiropractic. Any animal uh, can be adjusted, so you can think cattle, sheep, goats, you name it. But I generally stick to horses, dogs, and cats. Animal chiropractic falls under a secondary alternative, so it doesn't replace traditional veterinary care, but the owners can choose if they want to add chiropractic into the mix. But with people, yeah, you can definitely hear pops and cracks type sound but with animals it's quiet no sound on a rare I should say on a rare occasion you might get some sound but no not really so like people we get posture changes gait changes potentially animals do too their postures can change their gait can change how are they moving how are they functioning diesel and the goal with animals is as soon as they're holding an adjustment, you're putting time and space between the appointment to see where is their happy medium, how long can they hold. Some can only go every couple months, some few months, but you, it's, if they keep holding and doing well, I, you keep putting space between appointments. People get jealous. They're like, why can't I hold that long? Humans need the adjustment. Why wouldn't these guys? You, I mean, it's clear as day when we leave here. You could tell just how much more relaxed their bodies are um, and as the months have progressed I could physically see the difference in him. Charlie, I got him when he was eight months old and he had these tremors that happened sometimes. He had pinched nerves on his hind end pretty bad and she had seen the video and then after she adjusted him she felt that that was probably a big part of his problem. And also he was a quiet, I just thought I had a quiet dog, young dog. Well, not anymore. I mean, he has really come out and he's acting like a young dog should act. So she's just helped him in so many ways. Her sacrum was good though. Animal chiropractic is it. It's like, I don't think, I don't see myself retiring or stopping animal chiropractic. It's a nice, secondary option for pet owners so probably won't stop very interesting practice there well next writing her own 